everyone. This is Anita White with Love Your Art, and we're back today with you. Thank you so much for joining me. We're here with another video, and we have, again, a 20-inch heart. That's MDF board that's been primed, taped on the back, and it is good to go. We're going to do a couple of these, but different techniques um, in this video. We are going to be using this particular one to do a open cup and we're using some cookie cutter rings and I may use more than one it just depends on how well this one tends to work for me we're going to introduce the colors that we'll be using we have some parole red by Liquitex basics and these are all paints that have been previously used and we're going to be just trying to use up some of the paint that we have that's left over. This is the Artist Loft Old Gold. It will also be used. We have the Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. Another gorgeous blue color. We also have the Chronocrodon, um Magenta, which is by Liquitex Basics. And then we have Artist Loft Titanium White, and that's this one. And we have some Blitcrylic Turquoise, and that's this one. Now, we're gonna do two different techniques, hopefully, if this doesn't go too long, we may have to split it into two videos, but my desire is to try to get it all in one, so we'll see. We're gonna get started with the Parole Red. Just gonna go ahead and pour some of that down here on our center. And we'll get started adding some of our colors to the ring here. That's the gold. If this appears to be taking longer than I planned or not going as planned, we will make efforts to monitor and adjust. Because that's what we do. And we'll put some of the turquoise here. Okay. And I want to take and try to wring this when I'm moving it just a little bit out. Okay, again, we're gonna start with that Parole Red. Hopefully we'll start seeing some beautiful design here. And there is no silicone in this. We only have the Artist Loft, I'm sorry, the American Floetrol. Two parts Floetrol, one part paint, water added as needed. No silicone, no other additives. Okay, we're going to see if we can move this a little bit around. Get this to start releasing. It's pretty. Okay, go ahead and put some of the colors in on the second ring. Because I want to have plenty of time to really work on a Dutch pour on the next one that we do. 
So let's just go ahead and add some red here. Add some here. Use that up. Hopefully we'll get some beautiful colors here. Really, really making for a great design. Enough to move this around and give us some options for what we can do with it. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Just gonna release some of that. Turquoise in there. See some of the beauty in these cells are starting to develop. I know it's going to be really pretty. Really pretty. I'll leave that there. Let's see here. We have a little more parole red. Just a little bit, I think. And we're going to put gold in there, some blue, the magenta, Let's see what we do, kind of leave, release some of that in there, cool, and we've got some white coming right behind that. blue or uh, turquoise I think we're going to be pretty good because we've got it going over the edge now Let's see if we can move it coming this way sort of a floating okay and we'll take and see if we can get this kind of floating all right all right guys we're going to make some effort to pull this together how about we do this um, just add a little magenta around this so we got quite a bit of magenta just to help extend this give us some movement but we don't have to stretch as much okay pretty isn't that beautiful all right, we're gonna move this kinda up, over, we'll go up, over, we'll bring this in, kinda moving it, Rocking it back and forth, bringing it toward me. Hope we've gotten over that edge already. Let's see if we can go back a little bit. Don't want to be too, that is super pretty. Okay. Let me get this edge here. All right, I'm bringing this in toward me. Gorgeous colors. All right, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. pushing it back and we're going to rest it here take a look at what we have making certain that we've got color everywhere oh it is beautiful all right I 
think we've got coverage all the way around. I'm loving this. Glad we put that magenta in there because it really has taken over on this side here. All right. Okay, well, we're gonna bring you in real quick for a close-up and then we'll get right on to our Dutch pour, so hold on. All right, everyone, this is our close-up of our 20-inch heart open cup. So, so pretty. I am seeing all these rich, beautiful colors that we put in, and I will list all of them in our description box below. So if you missed anything, you can refer back to it. But I am super, super excited about the outcome here. So, so, so pretty. All the way to the tip. Look at that. Very pretty. We have the Artist Lawful Gold in here, giving it a nice shimmer and shine, along with the Brilliant Blue. We really, really have some pretty colors that have merged together giving us a beautiful open cup design on this 20 inch canvas. So pretty, I'm not gonna torch it. I'm just gonna let it happen just like it is. And I think we'll be just fine. And this is gonna look super wonderful with a coat of resin. So there you have it guys, 20 inch canvas, hard, so super pretty. Open cup is the technique. All right, hold on for the next part. We have a 20 inch canvas that we're going to bring in and do a Dutch pour with some different colors. Thank you. Be right back. Okay, everyone, we're back with the 20 inch canvas. This is our 20 inch heart. We're going to be doing the Dutch pour on and we want to make sure that we can get going really quickly here. So I went ahead and put down the base paint, which is the Blick Acrylic Titanium White mixed with Artist Law um, Titanium White. So we have leftover paint that we're using and we're blowing out the air bubbles. We're going to do a Dutch pour on this particular heart and we'll see how that turns out. Hopefully spectacular. We've had such beautiful success with this heart series and I've just been very pleased with it. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far as well. Again, we're using some of the leftover paints that we had and some different ones. So we're gonna do um, a design that will hopefully take in some of those colors. We had a little bit of leftover paint here from the um, Liquitex Basics. That is the Chronocrodon Magenta. I'm gonna come in with some of the Artist Off Old Gold on top of that. And then we have the Holbein Luminous Violet. This is a new color for me and I'm excited to be able to use it. We also have the Parole Red by Liquitex Basics. It's that real bright red. Squeeze this up, get it out really good. Nice squeeze, there we go. And we're gonna put in some uh, Master's Touch Sky Blue, another new one for me. Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And we'll go with some Artist Loft Metallic Silver. So we'll have silver and gold in this one. And we have Brilliant Blue. I think that for the heck of it, since we have some left, I'm going to go ahead and put some of this Blick Crowlet type turquoise in as well. Oh yeah. And back on top of that, just a little more of the magenta. 
since we're about out of it. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Pretty, pretty colors, guys. All right. We will list all of the colors that we've used in the description box below. So let's torch. That is super pretty just from the looks of it here. We could probably just not do anything with that and be all right. But we gotta get this moving. So let's try blowing out and see how we can accomplish a touch pour on this 12 or 20 inch heart. Let's do it. Oh my Lord, that is just absolutely gorgeous. I wanna make sure I have a good angle on this. So I'm going to tilt it so that, oops, losing our cup. We have the opportunity to work this side of the canvas a little better. Let's see, am I gonna be good here? Um, Let's go, maybe turn it all the way around because I definitely want to work this. So pretty. Let's get these down here. Those cups are catching our leftover paint and we want to keep them. All right. I don't normally move my canvas before I finish with it, but there's always a room for monitoring and adjusting as needed. So pretty. Hopefully you can see this so far. I'm going to try to come back toward me. Wow, I am loving it. I am loving it. You've got some negative space at the top, at the bottom, and inside here and there, inside a little bit there. Just beautiful. So, I am super proud of these colors. I am really pleased with the composition so far. I hope you like it. We're taking our little spatula around the edges here just to get everything nice and laid out. And we're going to bring you in for a close-up. I see an air bubble right there that will pop. A little stubborn one, but it's there. Oh, it's really pretty. I love, love, love these colors. I'm really excited about this uh, luminous violet. This is Holbein's um, luminous violet, and it's brand new to me. Okay, guys, let's do it close-up time. We want to see these beautiful cells. All right, guys, here we are. We have our close-up of our 20-inch card. Beautiful, beautiful cells that are really, really spread throughout this design. This Dutch pour has just done an amazing job with producing a just plethora of color. But in terms of cells, the Artist Loft Silver and the Artist Loft Old Gold really have helped to bring out some gorgeous, gorgeous colors in this design and it's so pretty giving us a nice nice rich um, palette of color look at the cells there loving it 
And then in this area here, in this area, we can see all that artisanal gold, the turquoise, the brilliant blue, that Holbein um, luminous violet is in there. Just pretty, just super, super pretty. And that's our Dutch pour on our 20 inch heart. All right, guys, we did it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And you know, we're trying to really grow our channel. So if you're just stopping in and you've been coming by, please just stop and go ahead and like and subs subscribe. We really, really, really appreciate you helping us to grow our channel by being a part of this amazing art journey with us. So thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, keep loving your art.